Hello, it is I, Chef Merck, back for a cooking video. Never thought I'd make another one of these, but uh, I'm getting so bored of just chicken and burgers and eggs and cashews. And my grandmother gave me this book for Christmas a while ago, and I haven't actually made anything from it, but I've looked through it countless times. And I've selected three things from this book. By the way, this is from a book by someone named Maria Emmerich. I do not take credit for these recipes. If you want me to take this video down because I'm not supposed to publicly I totally get it, just let me know. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm infringing upon anything. <laughs> we have buttery scones. Yeah, that's right. Buttery scones on keto. Almond flour is the lifesaver. Poulet grand-mère, which is just delicious looking chicken. Anyway, I'm gonna make my list. I gotta buy the food first and then we're gonna cook up a storm. Step one, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Things to expect in this video. Random keto tips, not great filmmaking, and just a lot of I don't know what I'm doing. My tripod isn't high enough, so I squat. Step two, sprinkle these chicken thighs with half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, I think I got it. Sorry, I can't so We got us these uh, bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon. So I don't know what the heck ghee is. Well, technically I do because of Google. It's a butter replacement, but recipes were saying you can replace butter with ghee. So I assume you can replace ghee with butter because I could not find it. So when it comes to the amounts of things, I will specify when I get there, but this just says coat the bottom of the pan with ghee and it requires, that's kind of hot. It requires a fourth cup of ghee. So I'm gonna probably need more butter. Meanwhile, over here out of view, cause I'm not gonna move the camera. We have some thyme, four sprigs of thyme. All right, laziness is no excuse. All right, beautiful, focused in, fantastic. Well, I don't know what a sprig, I'm just gonna take some branches, I guess. Oh, the butter's going, all oh, the butter's going. All right, we're back on butter cam. Bottom of the pan is, it's, I would say coated. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. From all the cooking shows I used to watch with my dad, butter all the time. And then it just says to add in the thyme, and I'm not just gonna toss this in, so I'm gonna like cut it off, I guess. Oh wait, no, you pluck, you pluck it from the branches. There's no, ah, oh, that's hot. That's coated, that is coated for sure. Okay, so then we take the chicken and we place this seasoned chicken, seasoned with just salt, skin side down. Ah! It, it says sear until golden brown. Oh, and I gotta baste the sides with a spoon. We're almost golden brown, boys. Almost golden brown. Oven is preheated. Dude. Nice and golden brown, not gonna lie. Oh, hell yeah. Cooking is not hard when the recipe is right in front of you. And then it says flip uh, and do it for about two minutes or until golden brown. So I'm gonna do two minutes. Time to put in some more time. <laughs> I should have chopped the onions before I started this whole process. Now it's bacon time. Bacon is in the the food that you eat for breakfast and also my last name. Oh wait, I have to dice it first? Oh God. How do you dice bacon, bro? Okay, so the recipe calls for four um, strip, strips of thick cut bacon. And to dice it, so I guess you just chop it up into small pieces, because that's what dicing means. Take them out and set them aside. Oof, that's the bad lighting. 
It says to cook the bacon for four minutes or just until it's like really cooked through. So we're gonna let that sit. It explicitly says don't dump the butter or anything. And then next is the onions. So I'm gonna chop the onions up, cry a little. And then add salt and some pepper to the onions, which I imagine is then gonna be the, the sauce. Again, being careful to use a out slotted thing to keep all of the ghee, aka the butter. Is it G? Is it pronounced G? Now, in case you're wondering, it says a fourth cup of onions, uh, of sliced onions. This looks like a fourth of a cup to me. I don't know about you. Wait, how do I do this again? Onions, because I've done that way too many times. Before. So you know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say this is good. I uh, put this one away too. There is so much smoke coming off of this pan right now. Sorry, it's out of focus. We're throwing the onions in. Ah! Cat. Okay, so it says cook until translucent, which means like partially see-through. In case you didn't didn't know, it's been seven minutes. I'm gonna give the chicken a little more time. Okay, the next thing the recipe calls for is two cups of chicken bone broth. I'm using this brand of chicken bone broth. Do I know the difference between bone broth and chicken? No, absolutely no idea. So if you want mushrooms, I guess you can put those in now, but I don't like fungi. But I'm a pretty fun guy. I'm so sorry. Then you put in some salt. All right, this is, this is the last step. So you take the broth. How, oh my God, it's like an old fashioned milk carton. I squeeze the corners together. No, oh, please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. Recipe calls for two cups of chicken bone broth. Let's see, there's two servings per container of this stuff. And one serving size is one cup. Big brain. Big brain. All right, so we sit here and stir this for a while, I guess, because this is this is the, the gravy. Perhaps bone broth is special because, you know, it coagulates more and becomes more solid. I don't know, I'm gonna check the chicken. Okay, seven minutes was definitely nowhere near enough time. It's on 350, it's preheated. It's definitely going in here for a while longer. Two cups of chicken bone broth, homemade or store-bought. So I'm hoping, it's, mm, it smells like it's burning. I'm turning down the heat. I'm hoping that it like boils down a little bit, but we'll see. And uh, before I get to my final montage of sorts, if you're looking for how to make this recipe, I'd look up the book. It's in the description. I'll put a link in the description to the book below. Uh, put in some more butter anyway, and um, it's looking a little better, not gonna lie. It's 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 looking thicker than just liquid, you know what I mean? Uh, the chicken definitely needs more time. I put up the oven to 400. I put in there for like five or six more minutes, and uh, yeah, might be ready to eat soon. That was kind of good, not gonna lie. Um, the gravy turned out all right. It kind of coagulates on the top, which is what gravy is supposed to do, right? If you want to see another cooking video, let me know. I think I'm gonna make the other two recipes into a separate video because, you know, this took me less than an hour. I started at 5.23 and I'm sitting down to eat at 6.11. But if you want to see another cooking video, let me know in the comments. I have another cooking video, it's Cooking with Mark. I don't know if this will be early enough in the video, but I'll put an end card. In case you want to watch that, it wasn't really the best video I've ever made, but I'm getting better over time, and it shows if you go back and watch that video. So, hydrating a little bit, I'm gonna take a piece of chicken, and while I serve myself this wonderful, oh, wonderful piece, okay, this, I'm not gonna lie, kind of good. Chicken, I wanna dedicate this episode to my grandmother, Nushka, who's in Switzerland, she got me the cookbook, and I hope she's doing well. We can't quite visit her, but yes, poulet grand-mère, I feel like that's very fitting. So, some gravy in the spoon, comes over to the chicken. Mmm. Okay, actually the chicken is cooked through fine. Heck yeah, dude. It's not too flavorful, but I think that's because I probably messed up with the, with the broth. But the flavor is definitely there, the thyme and the bacon helps. I think the mushrooms would probably help just as much, but oh, the bacon's a big plus, dude. Definitely should have put more butter in at the beginning. But anyway, 
That'll wrap up the episode. Thanks for watching me taste test. When it comes to keto, there's 42 grams of fat, uh, 489 calories in total, 23 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, and one gram of fiber. And that's per serving, four servings, one per chicken thigh, checks out. Probably could have done with less uh, bone broth, I feel like. Maybe saved for some for another round. But regardless, up on screen now, you should see the keto cooking video of curry chicken. Thank you so much for watching. Nushka, I hope you're doing well in Switzerland, and I hope to see everyone in yet another cooking video. So thanks again for watching. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.